Talk about super first impression slash fresh out of the mailbox. This shit literally landed right now. We're gonna be smelling this fragrance together that was generously sent to me by the homie Chris Classic over at Savoir Fay. Let's roll my motherfucking music because I'm super hyped because that first fragrance left a hell of an impression. Listen, morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. This is your boy. C to the U to the B to the A. Now, I was super shocked to get this fragrance in my mailbox because I purchased these glasses from his brand. I'm a sunglass whore. If you don't follow my other channel, you would see that I have sunglass reviews and I have maybe over 50, 60 different shades. Now, when I saw he was dropping these affordable lenses on his website, I said, Houston, you, you touching my heartstrings, fam. Let me show you what these shits look like up close because he's got these Japanese D to S type vibe that is definitely up my wheelhouse. Check. Ooh, this shit is crazy. Yo, I like these styles, for real, for real. But I also placed an order for a sample, and instead of the sample, him being a fucking super class act, he sent me the entire bottle. So I appreciate you, fam. Really, you didn't have to. That was very gracious of you. Soul Cafe was my first introduction to this brand, and that shit took me by super surprise it was phenomenal now this was another one that was recommended by my instagram family they was like yo if you like that one you have to check this one it's super vibey so we're gonna do first impressions together let me get a test strip so i got the test strip on deck i'll show you the box and then i'll show you the bottle here's the box same as the soul cafe joint you slide out the sleeve uh let's see what the bottle look like get yeah, same time presentation boom let me pull this shit out and the fragrance is called Beau Noir. All right, so let's get to it, man. I haven't looked up any notes. I don't know anything about the fragrance. I literally just bought it from a sample pack because the whole sample pack is still sold out. So this was one that was instantly available for a couple of seconds. So I picked it up, but homie sent me the whole bottle. So I'm mad appreciative. I haven't smelled this. We're going to smell it together. So let me spray it on the test strip. All right, here we go. I did two sprays. And let's see what we're doing here. Okay, so <laughs> with these two fragrances and these glasses, I'm starting to understand something about this brand and Chris Classic himself. This is complete assumption on my part. I feel like this gentleman is literally putting together a small lifestyle brand because it's not just fragrance clearly i think that he had maybe like a t-shirt or something like that and then the shade game so i think he's going for the lifestyle presentation from head to toe type of full ensemble situation so you got the beautiful frames that were very cost effective i believe they were around 50 60 bucks and then you have soul cafe which was a jaw-dropping beautiful fragrance that completely took me by surprise because I didn't think I was gonna like it that much. I'd hoped it'd be good, but I didn't think it would be great. This, on the other hand, completely different from that vibe. It has this focus about it. And it's weird to say why does a fragrance have some kind of focus? Like, I really feel that the interpretation of what the thought process behind the perfumer and the brand is expressed in this fragrance. This shit is nuts. All right, let me give you the note breakdown because I just found this shit and now it's starting, things are starting to line up in my head. Patchouli, canna flower, I have no idea what it is, private oud, ceylon, cinnamon bark, cedarwood, eucalyptus, bakar, musk of Morocco. A bakar and eucalyptus, very present. That's the herbaceous medicinal type of vibe that I'm getting from this and it has this fresh out of steam room kind of vibe. But it's not a prominent note. The musky bakar is definitely more of the prominent, but it has this ha very captivating and very melodic. There's a very melodic and artisanal vibe about this fragrance that is quite, quite nice. This shit is a fucking vibe, fam. Like I feel the green and I get the eucalyptus and for me, eucalyptus, if you tell me eucalyptus fragrance, I'm like, nah, no, 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 no. It's a sensual fragrance, kind of spiritual kind of fragrance that I get from this shit. It's a vibe, bro. It's definitely a vibe from what I've seen from his Instagram and his, I, I, I caught up on some of his music. The kids got bars, no gassing you up just cause you sent me some shit. I don't give a fuck. The kids got bars. The kids got style, the kids got bars. Let's keep it all the way 1000 and now the motherfucker know how to make a good fragrance. 
So you're putting together a whole lifestyle type situation in my opinion, and I think you're doing a bang up fucking job. This is a very, very nice fragrance. It's seductive, it's sensual, sade tune. When you're sitting down thinking with a pen and a pad and really trying to put your thoughts down together, but feeling sexy and feeling yourself, and that composition that you're putting down is just coming out effortlessly through the felt tin pen. I know he's got another fragrance on the lineup and I'm gonna end up pulling the trigger on that one because I mean, yeah, I gotta see if you shoot in three for three, cause this shit is crazy, man. I, I'm really impressed. Listen, I mean, shout out to Chris Classic. Thank you again for sending me a full bottle instead of the decant that I ordered. I appreciate you. I think you're doing a stellar fucking job and this is absolutely a bowl spray. I mean, enough said, fam. I don't know if it has a mass appeal situation. I feel like this is definitely somebody methodical and just putting that pen to that pad and really focused on some goal oriented shit. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart. Have y'all smelled this shit or anything from the Savoir Fay line? Let me know, I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know what it is, biggest in the game. Smooches. Fly gun holder, money folder, roller roller, star tag when it's time to call back. It's lost since you never get in. It's lost since you would think that you would. <laughs>